So hey guys and welcome to another video and today we're like doing the functional programming map reduce. Yeah, so map reduce are two separate functions. Um, map is po probably easier to understand, so we look at the the official guide to have a look. Okay. And then we will use reduce to rewrite one of your functions that we have left last time. Um, so map is like um, it takes a function and then it takes a collection kind of type list, uh, dictionary, set, mm -hmm. tuple. Uh, what it does is the, it will pass each of the things in the, the collection mm -hmm. into that function mm -hmm. you give it and then each of the uh, variable passed into the function will be uh, one of the one one of the item in the collection one by one. So in this function it will just return the length of each of the words. So apple is like five letters, banana is six letters, something like that. So just to have a try. So the map itself will return a list. So the list will be the same number of items of whatever you pass to it. Each of the items in the collection pass that into the function and change it and make a new list out of that thing. So in this example, it's doing apple 5, banana 6, cherry 6. And then what if we print out the result of this map function, it's that new list that the data has been processed by your function, basically. So it's very useful when you have a list of things, you want to process every single item and give it back a new list of, of the thing, okay? Now reduce does something on top of this. Um, it's not only loops through every single item in the collection, but also it uh, reduces the number. That's why it's called reduce. So it's not returning all the items, but also it can give you a new something um, based on the function you pass to it. So reduce is from a, a library that's called func tools. Um, mm. So you, when you use it, you need to import the func tools first. Okay. So reduce is similar to to the map. It also mm -hmm. takes in the function, the the collection, and then there's more things called the initializer, which is the beginning value of the thing. I think it's easier just to um, practice on your code. So last time we left uh, uh, this behind, these two functions. Today we just want to do one of those. Uh, we'll do this one, the generator uh, exits. So considering this piece of logic, um, so we've done it in, in a non-function kind of way, but you think from the start, we want to, what we want to do is we have a list of directions and we have a list of rooms. What we want to do is from the directions, we pick a random number of directions and then uh, uh, use that directions uh, to, to construct a new dictionary mm -hmm. that the okay. key is the direction and the value is one of the room uh, index. So basically it's doing process on the direction list, right? It's like you, you loop through, you map the re and reduce on the direction list itself. So what we can do is use the reduce function to, to do this for us. So let's copy this logic first to uh, the row module because that's part of the look, uh, direction exits, right? So let's say get get random exits. How about get out? Well, it's returning an exit. Okay. Right? So let's put this here. We're probably not going to use it. So do we have to write the uh, the variable? So yeah, let's let's import random. 
import yeah we want to use the sorry. Yeah. Import and then also import log tools so that's the two we want to use uh but why is it like darker shade because we haven't used it if it's not okay. used yet it will be darker uh, just let you know it's not used so you can remove it if you want to do some cleanup Actually, we want to pick a random number of directions from the mm -hmm. directions list. So mm -hmm. instead of using this kind of uh, number kind of way, there's another function in the random uh, can help us. It's called uh, uh, example. So what it does is, um, so the, the first parameter it takes is the, the list. So here is the directions. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And then the second is how many items we want to take from that um, directions. So here we can just use that random number, right? So randomly it picks a few um, directions from, from the directions. So we can give it the name, say... Uh, Direct. Uh, random. So next, we need to loop through these um, directions and then make it a dictionary. So that way uh, we have the exits, right? So here we will use the, the reduce function. So the first parameter uh, is the function. So mm -hmm. uh, we haven't defined function here yet. So we can define a function here. So k okay, say generate exit, maybe. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what it takes is the it will pass get get two two uh, parameters. The first we call it uh, uh, ACC, which is accumulator. So that's the result in the in the end. It will be returned out to the outside by the direct uh, reducer. Um, and the second one is every single element in that uh, list, which is our direction, uh, random direction from the thing. So, and then we will, what we want to generate is uh, the accumulator, the key is the direction, mm. and the value is The random room number. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the room count is not here, but we, we can get it from the main function here. Mm -hmm. So the, so the room count can also be just be here because it's just part of the the anyway, right? This module. Now we when we use this thing, we just say give it that function and then give it the uh, random directions and the initial value which is this part to the initial exit is the empty dictionary so once this is called it will re return it should return what we want it to return. Oh, uh... and also here we want to print out the how about the variable direction count? Hmm. We, we don't, we don't, those are just the old logic. We okay. delete those later. So here we also want to each um, of the direction print out this line on the, on the screen. So here, basically before we put it into the uh, accumulator, um, we will print out the direction. Okay. And then we will return the accumulator. Uh, I don't like it yet. Um, so here we don't even need this because we will return the, the exits straight away. Now we also need this. So before we so come let's in. So just, we just don't need that. Yeah. 
So when we come inside, we will need to print how many directions, which is the length of the random directions we have generated. Sure. So those can go away. That's it? That's it. Okay. So we need to use this outside. Uh, exit equals so we don't need all those. those. Uh, room dot get random exits. Okay, let's have a try. See if it still works. Uh, where is the is that your terminal? Yeah. Where is the black now? <laughs> huh. <laughs> you change it? No. I didn't change it. But it's always white. Yeah, it just suddenly changed. <laughs> yeah, I think it works. So okay. it still gives you the directions randomly. And also it has fixed issue. So before, because we use the random number in the loop to get the directions, so sometimes we get uh, the duplicates of the direction, the same yeah. directions, right? Okay. But now, because we use the random sample, it will only choose uh, the number of directions once, so it's not going to be okay. repeated. So, uh, that's right. it. Um, right. Is this clear to you? Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain how this works? Uh, <laughs> still really complex. Which part you don't you don't get? I don't know. So let let's re re review this. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, we have a uh, random directions mm -hmm. that's coming from the random sample, right? Mm -hmm. So random, what random sample does is to get to get only one direction every, and x directions from the mm -hmm. the number the number here you passed it will be the number that it returns how many items in these directions. Mm -hmm. So that's that's oh, we already get several random directions. For example, it might just get left forward, backwards, that's all three, mm -hmm. right? If the random number here generated is three. And then we print out that length, how many directions we have generated, say how many exits you have to, to go, so that's here. Um, there are exa four exits, right? One, two, three, four, that's what we wanted. And afterwards, we have, a, we have this reducing so what it takes is a function, and then a list, and the initial value. So the initial value, because we, we want to generate the exits, the initial value is an empty uh, dictionary. It, it, it gets the initial empty dictionary, so it passes the dictionary to this function as the first parameter. So the ACC at the beginning, it will be an empty dictionary, right? And this direction will be the first item of this random directions list. So inside the function when it runs, it will run every single time for each of the items in this random directions. So the first time it comes, it prints out the first di direction in this random directions. And then because the ACC currently is empty dictionary, so it sets the first dictionary as the key, the random room number as the value for that first item, and it returns the ACC, okay? And then it comes to into the next loop. Next loop is on the second item in this random directions. Let's, such, let's, let's assume it's like forward, for example. The first one is backwards, for example. So currently in the ACC, it's backwards room number X, for example. So the second icon comes in, the ACC you return from the last loop, which is the backwards number x will come into the second call, that is the ACC. So currently the ACC in the second loop, it's no longer empty dictionary. It's the one that you, has, have, set, you have set in the first loop. Now we, see, we do the second loop. The second loop will set the ACC one more value, which is the second direction 
for example, forwards, and then another room number y. Yeah. So it got, returned the ACC again. The ACC returned here will be passed into this function again as the third step of the loop. So the ACC now contains two items. One is the backwards, one forwards, and then the third item, word and words. You can't capitalize this. <laughs> then that's the third item it will set to the direction to, and then give it uh, to, the, to the random room number. So after all the loop is done, this final ACC will be returned to out the side. That contains a, a dictionary of random directions to random room exits, where we pass this to outside, becomes our exits here to be used later to choose. Yeah, is that clearer? So the reduce is taking a function that's going to apply to each of your item in your collection and then generates a output that's based on your logic in this function with the input of each of the item in this collection. Okay. Hope that's clearer. <laughs> and that's ne it. next time you use it, we hope you can know. This is a very important part in the functional programming, map and reduce. Subscribe and remember to smash the bell button and find this content useful. Okay, so that's enough for today, I guess. Um, okay. In the next two episodes, we'll continue with those uh, useful okay. techniques in functional programming. And uh, uh, the first gaming videos has come out. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So you can go check out yeah. that channel. Thank you, bye.